us on back on another video. So this video we are going to make is Iron Man Ultimate. So how we expand is clearly what's fully so, so let's get into this. So these are the patterns of the Iron Man helmet. I have given the link in the description so that you can download and make your own helmet. So once you download it, just take a printout and cut out the pieces of it from the paper and just it's now your time to choose whether you want to make the Iron Man helmet in a metal sheet or a cardboard. I have chosen a cardboard because it's an easy way for me to do and once it's completed, I can just then um, convert it into a metal sheet in the further videos. So just place the pieces of paper above the cardboard and make a gentle outline with a pencil or pen and once it's com completed just cut off the pieces of it. so i have increased the speed so that it, the video will not take much longer time so the marking are completed i am going to cut the pieces off just remember one thing it's a, a hard process and it take me hours to complete it so valuing me Hard work just subscribe to our channel for more videos and more informations once the pieces are cut out just arrange the pieces so that you can understand which piece comes where and how you are going to do it just make sure that you have all the pieces and there is no left out once you are sure that then you can continue further so now it's time to make the front piece so I have cut off the eyes part and uh, with the help of the pattern I have done it. So next you have to cut it into two pieces. Just fold it with your hands so that uh, the shape will be perfectly matching. Just remember one thing, keep a Iron Man helmet or image of the Iron Man helmet side by and you can make it so that you can do it easily. So once you folded it, just place it in your face so that you can check whether it fits for you. So the following order you can easily understand so that I, I don't want to explain your thing. Now music starts. to turn the servo motor into ordinary motor just unscrew the screws from the servo motor and you can see that there are three wires coming out you, our job is to cut down the three wires and solid the two wires in these two points so that you can turn the servo motor into ordinary motor so how completed and 
in this video i will show you just you can use it like ordinary motor so it will be uh, no need of any microcontroller or any ic's to control the motor so it's now a easy job for us taken the pepper paste uh, that means uh, soaking the newspaper in the water and I have just with the help of a blender I have mixed it made it into a paste so can you even use a vehicle to make the whole store disappear it will give a jet look so much painting time after painting our Ironman helmet is ready So now we are going to make the switch for the Iron Man helmet. It's a simple switch. Um, how it works is if we touch the top, the positive negative current will come, and if we touch the bottom, the negative positive. That is vice versa of the first one it will get. So so that uh, if we touch the top, the Iron Man helmet will open, and if we touch the bottom, the Iron Man helmet will be closed. So now we are going to add wires to the aluminum foil I have not shown this because uh, I forgot to take the video so it's since it's easy process you can it's do it just make sure that two of the aluminum foils should not touch each other now take another two pieces of aluminum foil which we are going to use it for the power supply so just paste it in parallel manner stick it partly so that it will not come out and don't apply any uh, glue over that aluminum foil the glue should be only be below this foil so it's now completed So I have joined the way so I already told that, told that uh, I have forgot to take the video sorry um, now just place a double side tape so that there will be a gap between these two of the plates and you can use it as a switch so I'm going to test it with this in these two terminals connect it with one two terminals for a battery and other two terminals, terminals for a motor as I told it works fine so now we are going to insert this which is in the cap so yes you can see that it works fine so you can even use any ordinary micro switches or push buttons for this i have choose this as the best way so if you want this you can even follow this Thank you. 